Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Ogamog, Ugamog, Ogamog, I don't know. Yogamog, Yudamog, I, who cares. The Ceaseless Hunger, he is a 10-10 for 10 that double vindicates when he comes into play. And then whenever he attacks, he <laughs> removes 20 cards. Um, double vindicate is very good. I'm not going to lie, that's double vindicate is OP. I mean, you're essentially destroying whatever they have, planeswalkers, or I mean, it does hit, or two target permanents, yeah. Uh, and it can be land as well, so it is, it's super double, it is actually double vindicate, it's not like some watered down version of it. He is the only Adrazi, so the last time we had Adrazis, it was difficult to understand which one that you should play, because they were all like very good, but, and then you had to like kind of choose which Adrazi you wanted. But this one, since there's only one of them, it is very easy to pick which one you have to run. You just pick this one because he's the only option. And that will make him more valuable. Now, a lot of you are saying, hey, he costs 10. Can we play him? If you ramp up enough, there will be a deck. And the deck will have a ton of these Scion tokens. And the whole purpose of this deck will be to play this one card. And will it be a tier 1 deck? No. Will it be a tier 2 deck? No. M maybe. I think it's going to be one of those decks that new players are going to play and they're going to enjoy themselves and the whole purpose of going to FNM would be to play him once. Not to win. Not to get the prize promo. And the prize promo is terrible anyway. It's, what is it? Ojatai Champion or something? It's, it's a terrible. It's like an 4 that can draw you a card if you... Dragon Lord something. What, whatever, like Dragon Lord, Ojatai Servant. Like who wants that promo? And you might pick, oh, store credit. Well, store credit is nice, but I think it's worth it. It's never ex your expected value of playing a magic event, let's say you go for four or five hours, is a negative because four or five hours, are you really going to win about $50 in prizes at your FM? And don't answer that if you do win over $50 in prizes. No, I don't think so. So why don't you just have fun, play the card? And just, that would be amazing. Like, I feel like the card would be extremely, extremely fun to play. I plan on playing it at least once in, you know, standard. I just think it's pretty epic, and I feel like it's some Like, if you accomplished that for a FNM, and that's all you did, and you went 0-5 or 0-4, that's not bad. And once, like, you go, you're 0-4, and you play your last round, if you still have opponent, by the way, and if they didn't all drop, then you're pretty much guaranteed you can play this card because the opponent you're playing against is probably not very good. And yeah, <laughs> I love the card. I think it's a very good card. I think it's a safer speculation. I don't see this card losing value, uh, mainly because he's an e just like Ugin. Ugin never lost value. That's what is surprising about that card is uh, it in the beginning it didn't see any play, but it still kept its price. Then it saw play, and then it's kept its price. People are going to want to play this. People wanted to play Ugin. They did. People are going to want to play this. It's powerful enough, in my opinion, that it's worth actually the 10 cost on it. Very good card. I love it. 